Hey fam, my name is Katie Skye and I just got in the mail some tea that I purchased from mayleaf.com. I found this online tea store place through um, a couple of videos. The guy's name is Don and he owns the, the Mayleaf tea store. He's very knowledgeable about tea. I watched some of his videos and um, there is so much more to the world of tea that I ever knew existed. So I went to their online store, um, did some browsing, and found some teas that I thought I would like to try. We're going to do four teas. The first one I purchased is Amber Gaba Oolong. Apparently this has amazing health benefits, so I'm going to try that. You can buy different sizes of it. You can get the big pack or just a little sample taste thing. Second one I'm going to try is Amachazuru. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these things. I'm new to this whole thing. Apparently this is a powerful immune boosting herb and it has a bunch of other health benefits as well. Then I've got the Perfect Calm Tea, which is good for um, relaxing and calming you down. The last one I purchased is Vital Cleansing. Um, it's for detox stuff. As I said before, I am new to this whole thing. Um, I watched some of Don's videos and tried to figure out exactly the right way to brew tea and stuff like that. The style of brewing that he recommends is called Gong Fu style brewing. It's where you use a lot of tea and um, brew it for a shorter amount of time. I am going to try to imitate what I saw him do in his videos. It's probably going to look really silly to those who actually know what they're doing. If you see me do something wrong or incorrect, if you could do me a favor, just leave a comment and say, hey, that, that's great, but um, you did this incorrectly and here's how to do it correctly. So I got this cool thing that my brother bought me for my 16th birthday. It might be my 17th birthday, probably my 17th. It's a cool kettle, and it's got the strainer thing right in it, so thank you to my brother for buying this for me. This will be super helpful. Amber Gaba Oolong. We're going to try that one first. Ooh, that's nice. So the first thing he says to do in um, tea ceremony, gong fu style tea brewing, is to rinse the leaves, which is you, you pour the water on it and then very quickly dump away the water that was that comes through. We've got our almost boiling water here and this is what I'm gonna pour the um, tea rinse water out into. And then very quickly we pour this water into here. Okay now they are rinsed leaves which makes it taste better or something. And then you really um, brew it with the intention of this is the stuff that you're going to drink. Um, for about 25 to 30 seconds is how you do it in this style. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna dump this while I'm at it. I'm waiting around. Okay, and this is the cup I will use to actually drink the tea. So we just... And another thing he says in his videos is pour it into a tiny cup so that it's not so much about drinking tea to um, quench your thirst or like gulp it, you drink it very delicately and very slowly just to taste it. So that's what I'm going to do here. Hmm. It tastes, there, there's a familiarity in this taste. Um, I can't quite put my finger on it, what, what it tastes like. It tastes, there's something in there that I know I've tasted before. Um, it's good. It's good. Um, it's kind of frustrating. I wish I could put my finger on what what that tastes like. Okay, next we are going to try the Amachazuru. It is known in China as the immortality herb because of its uh, extreme health benefits. So let's give this a try. Ooh, this one's different. It looks like grass. This one smells grassier, I would say. A little more grassy. That's not meant for drinking. That is our tea wash. And now we are going to pour it we're drinking. Okay, again, about 30 seconds. Ooh, ooh, this one's strong. It's got a bit of a, like when it first hits your tongue, it, you can definitely taste like, okay, there's the grassiness and then it, something else comes in. That's interesting. Licorice, sweet and grassy is yeah, so at first um, it's got a bit of grassy, and then it's got a little bit of licorice sweet, I guess, is what the second thing that comes in would be described as. 
Mm, I like this one. And Machaziru. Yes, very good. Next, we're going to do Perfect Calm. Apparently, you can't do this. It's not recommended to do this Gong Fu style. You're supposed to do it Western style, which is not a lot of tea for a longer time. So that's what I'm going to do. May have a slightly sedative effect, so avoid strenuous activity or driving if feeling sleepy. Okay. Okay, I don't mean to sound offensive or anything, but the smell of this reminds me of pet food, like gerbil food or hamster food. I, I don't mean to be offensive, but that's what comes to mind when I first smell this. Let's do not a lot. I'm not gonna rinse this time because um, there's not a lot and okay. And we're supposed to do that longer for like two to five minutes now. Okay, it's been about two minutes, so now we're gonna pour that and see what it tastes like. Okay. Ooh, it's uh, powdery. Um, maybe I should have rinsed because uh, one of the things he says is you rinse it to, uh, you know, get rid of the um, small powder, you know, the tea leaf powder, you know, when you pour that into your and then rinse that away. Um, oh, oh well, um, I'm sure this is fine. Hmm. That's not bad. That's good. Definitely tastes the same way it smells, but that's not bad. I like it. Okay, so last one we are going to do is Vital Cleansing. It's for detox purposes. This one only has instructions for Western style, you know, two to five minutes. So we're also going to do that. This time I am going to rinse it, though, because that powdery stuff we got last time. This one smells slightly grassy and also spicy. It's got a bit of ever so slightly spicy is the other smell that I'm smelling here. So let's add a little bit in here. Um, there's a lot of powder in there, so we're definitely gonna rinse. So all of the powder, that's a lot of powder, um, has gone through the strainer and uh, into here. There we go, there we go. All right. This one doesn't smell too different from the last one, to be honest. Just a tiny bit of spice hint in there. Oh, there's still some powder coming through. It must be a very, very fine tea. But, I mean, again, I don't really mind, so that's okay. Oh, that is different. The taste is different. It smells and kind of looks the same, but that's different. It's got that thing going on, like with the second one, where at first you've got one taste, and then a tiny fraction of time later, it hits you with another taste, which, that's cool. I don't know how to describe the second one, though. Spicy, maybe? Spicy, bitter, not the sweetest tea, but, I mean, alright. Okay, so I have now tasted all four teas that I have bought. Special thanks to Maylee for sponsoring this video. I'm just kidding, I'm not sponsored. They didn't sponsor me. This is not a sponsored video. But special thanks to Maylee and Don for um, making those videos and uh, spreading their knowledge about tea and how to properly do it. If you want to buy the teas that uh, I tried just now, feel free to go ahead and buy the same ones. Or um, they have awesome filters for... Um, what type of tea would you like? White, green, black, oolong, matcha? Um, what functions would you like? Detox, stress, um, immunity, um, just just a cool bunch of cool stuff and lots of information. And go check out the videos that Don made, lots of information. Um, I'll put a link in the description to some videos that have been particularly helpful for this video that I just made. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying happy, healthy, and hydrated. I hope you have a wonderful summer. Feel free to check out my music channel. I'm a musician too, so if you want to see videos of me singing and making music, you can go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!